my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation of the Cloister Shell Hat. Okay, so we are on round seven. And so basically, last round, we created a shell starting at the middle. Well, if you look at our previous shells, after the shell, you have three double crochets right in the middle. Well, we are going to sort of fiddle how we fiddled the last time where we were uh, you know, getting to the center of the chain space. So we're only gonna be doing half of the three. It'll make more sense. So we're gonna start by chaining up three for our first double crochet, and then one double crochet into the next stitch. And when we come full circle, we're going to do that third double crochet right here and then do our slip stitch, but let's keep going along, along this way. So, and also, since we had our three doubles here, we're gonna create new eyelets above the single double crochets, these solitary double crochets. So, you know, the, the repetition is there. It's just like, how do we get there? Well, this is how we get there. So chain one, and then into the solitary double crochet, do a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. Because it's not so much, you know, that I, you know, I, I want to show you what to do, but I also want to show you why we're doing what we're doing so that you can understand where the pattern is going as we're doing it. So from here, chain one, and then skipping the first two double crochets, and then going into the next three stitches with double crochets. And this is really what we're going to be doing for the rest of round seven. So it's three doubles, skip those last two, and then we're going to go into that solitary double crochet again with another eyelet. So to get there, chain one, and then into that double crochet, do a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet chain one, skip the next two doubles, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with double crochets. That's one and two and three, chain one, into the solitary double crochet, do a double crochet, chain three and double crochet, chain one, skip the first two doubles, going into the next three stitches with double crochets. And that's really all you do for the rest of the round. Easy as that. So keep on going in the exact same fashion all the way around until you reach <laughs> until you reach the beginning. And I'm going to meet back up with you around here and we will finish up this round together. Back in a flash. Okay, so I'm almost done with round seven, but I wanted to touch base with you guys. So just have to chain one after my three doubles there and then into the solitary double crochet. Do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. There we go, chain one, and then to finish off this round, again, skipping those first two doubles, going into the third, the fourth and the fifth, they're already done. So just have to slip stitch into the top of that first chaining of three that we did, that first double crochet, slip stitch into there, and there you have it. Round seven is complete. Mm -hmm. Yep. Onwards to round eight. 
Okay, round eight. Again, to explain where we're at here, if you look back in the previous rounds, after the three doubles, you have one in the center, and then you have shells in the eyelets that we created. So to do a double crochet and also accommodate the chain one space, we're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, and four. So that's a double and the chain one space all wrapped up into one. And then into our chain three spaces, these new eyelets, seven double crochets into that space. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, then double crochet into the middle double crochet stitch. Chain one. And then again, seven double crochets into the chain three eyelet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one double crochet into the middle, double crochet again. And really that's all there is to it for the rest of round eight. Just keep on keeping on by chain one, do your double in the middle, chain one, seven double crochets in the eyelet, just over and over and over again. And I'm gonna do the rest of the round off camera and I will meet back up with you near the end so we can touch base and then we will proceed on, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, almost done with round eight. I just need to fill up this last eyelet. So I just need to chain one, seven double crochets into the eyelet. That's two, three, four, five, more yarn. There we go. Also, by the way, at this point, your hat should start to be sort of cupping, if you will, because we're not increasing anymore. We're just maintaining the stitch count. So yes, at this point, it should be doing the sort of cupping shape, if you will. Um, and do not be alarmed if you put this on your head at this point, you're like, whoa, this thing is huge. Well, it's supposed to be a slouchy. So that is normal. So do not be alarmed. You know, it will have some decreasing later, so do not fret. So I've got three and four and five and six and seven. Okay, and always I like to double check my count. Yep, got the seven. Good. Okay, so chain one and then to finish up the round, I'm going to go into the third chain from the bottom. That's one, two, and three. This stitch right here, we're going to slip stitch into, or another way is second stitch from the top. We got this one right here. So it's going to be this little guy right here. Slip stitch into there. Either way is fine, as long as you have that gap in between where we connect and this next shell. And there you have it. That is the end of round eight. Round nine. Okay, so following suit with our pattern. So we have this solitary double crochet. Well, if we look down in here, the new eyelets sprout out of the solitary double crochets, right? So in order to do that from the start point, it's going to have to be a chaining up of six because we need a double crochet and a chain three space. So one, two, three, that's for the double crochet. 
and then four, five, six, and that's for the chain three space. And then double crochet into that same stitch where we joined right into there. Ta-da! It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, going to chain one and skip the first two doubles and three doubles into the next three stitches. One and two and three. Chain one and then into the solitary double crochet, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So even though the the pattern, it, it shifts, it really is a very short repeat uh, as far as the pattern is concerned because we're either creating new shells like here or we're creating new eyelets. Either way, it's a very short repeat, but because it shifts, that's why I'm doing each round for you on camera, because that way it's a little bit easier to digest. So we did our double crochet, chain three, double crochet into that solitary double crochet, then chain one, skip the first two doubles, going to the next three stitches with double crochets. like a soul, chain one, and then again into the solitary double crochet, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. It's a lot of repetition, but that's why I like the pattern because it looks a lot more complicated than it is. So chain one, skip those first two stitches, going into the next three stitches with double crochets, and so on and so forth for the rest of the round. And yes, I will meet back up with you for the the recap uh, at the end of the round, sort of, you know, me touching base with you guys. So yeah, from here, chain one into that single stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one, Skip the first two, three double crochets in the middle, chain one, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Keep going, okay? So I will meet back up with you around here for the, the join, the slip stitch join, which, yeah, it can be a little bit fiddly, but that's why I'm here. All right, I'll see you in a bit when I reach around over here. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, so almost done with round nine. I just need to chain one, skip those first two doubles, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with double crochets. There we go. Chain one. All right, so now, like I said, this is kind of the tricky part because you're like, ah, where do we go? Well, you can go into the third chain from the bottom, which would be one, two, and three. So into this stitch right here, or you could go into the fourth from the top. So that would be one, two, three, four. Either way, fourth from the top or third from the bottom, either way is fine. Thing is, is that you need the height, but you also need this space here. Otherwise, it will not lay correctly because you need that chain three space. So slip stitch into there. Okay, I grabbed apply, which can be fiddly. There we go. I think I got it this time. Bear with me. When the yarn splits a little bit, well, such is life. There we go. Okay, so that is the end of round nine. Looking good. All right, let's move on. Round 10. 
Okay, so again, we got a bit of fiddliness here because we have to get to the center of this chain three. So we're going to do this again, going into the next slip stitching into the next two chains. Let's see how successfully I can do it this time. Hmm? Hmm? Well, that's the first one at any rate. And then the second one. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Got it. Almost. Kind of. Success. Okay. And then slip stitch into this chain three space. For good measure. There we are. And then, because we already have a little bit of height, chain up two, and then proceed with three double crochets. One, and two, and three. And then when we come around full circle, we will do the remaining three in this chain three space, and we will slip stitch to the top of this first stitch. Moving right along, foot loose and fancy free, chain one, and then double crochet into the center, double crochet, chain one, and we have another eyelet, seven double crochets into there, into that chain three space, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, double crochet into the center, double crochet, chain one, into the next chain three space, seven double crochets. That's three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, got my chain one, double crochet into the center, double crochet, chain one, and yep, you guessed it, seven double crochets into the chain three space of the eyelet. And that's really all there is to it for the remainder of round 10 until, of course, we reach the beginning of the round. So you got five, six, and seven. So I'm going to do the rest of this round off camera. It's just a matter of doing seven, seven double crochets into the chain three spaces, a chain one space, and a double crochet in the middle stitch of the three doubles. That's all there is to it. So I'm just going to keep scoot, scoot, scooting along until I reach about here, and I will show you the ending of round 10. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're almost done with round 10. I just need to do a chain one and a double crochet into the center double crochet and chain one. Okay, so got to finish up this shell of seven double crochets. We already got four down. So into this space, I just need to do three more double crochet stitches and two, and three, and then slip stitch into the top of this first double crochet, that chain two that we did. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Okay, groovy. All right. We are, we are approaching 
the end. We're not quite there yet, but we are definitely getting there. All right, let's keep going. Round 11. Okay, so we are smack dab in the middle. Now, very much like down here, we need to create three double crochets starting at the middle, which means going to do a chaining up of three, one, two, and three, and then a double crochet into the next stitch. And that third one, which is gonna be right here, we will attack on the other side when we're finishing. See the repetition? All right, so from here, chain one, and into the solitary stitch here, gonna create a new eyelet, so that's double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into that same stitch. Chain one, skipping the first two stitches, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with double crochets. Chain one, into the solitary double crochet, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Chain one, skip the first two stitches, going into the next three with doubles. There we are. Chain one, and then create a new eyelet by doing a double, chain three double into this double crochet stitch. And really that's all there is to it for the rest of this round. You just chain one, skip the first two, going into the next three with doubles, and then you chain one and do a new eyelet for the rest of the round. And I will meet back up with you approaching the end to finish up round 11 with you guys. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Okay, approaching the end of round 11, I just need to chain one, create a new eyelet out of this double crochet. So double crochet, chain three, and double crochet chain one, and then skipping those first two doubles, going to that third with a double crochet stitch, and then slip stitch into the top third chain of our first double. Do -do -do. There we are. Okay, one more round to go, and then we get to start in on the decreases. Alrighty. Okay, round 12. Okay, so this should almost be old hat for you guys. No pun intended, sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so because we need a singular double crochet sticking out of the middle, needs to be a chaining up of four. That's a double crochet and a chain one space. So one, two, three, four, and then into the eyelet of three chain space there, seven double crochets. Two, three, Four, five, six, and seven, chain one, and then one double crochet in the center, double crochet stitch, chain one, and then into the chain three space, seven double crochets. Now you can continue making this hat as long as you want to. Personally, I found that 12 rounds of the cloister shell was sufficient. If you want to keep going, by all means, go right ahead. 
play around with the pattern. I recommend it. You know, it's how we learn and grow as crafters. Now, the only thing that I would recommend is that regardless of which, you know, uh, you know, round you end up on, whether it's, you know, a, a shell here or a shell here, like we have down here, regardless, okay, um, I would suggest ending on a, a shell round as opposed to a round with a lot of chain stitches and so on and so forth when, you know, like we uh, created our eyelets. Personally, I find that it's easier to do the decreasing that we're going to be engaging in uh, if you have these shells. So regardless, if you want to keep going and making your piece bigger or not, just end on a shell round. Okay, so how many do we got here? We've got seven, good. So it could be chain one, and then double crochet into the center double crochet, chain one, and then seven double crochets into the chain three space, just over and over and over until you reach the beginning of the round. So I've got three and four, five, six, and seven, and yep, you probably guessed it by now. I'm going to do the rest of the round off camera, and I will meet back up with you for the ending join, and we will proceed to the, the decreasing for the brim of the hat. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, finishing up round 12, I just need to chain one and then seven doubles in my last eyelet. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, and double count just to be short. Yep, okay. And then last but not least, chain one and do a slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom or the second chain from the top. Either or is fine. Do, 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 do. And this is the finishing of the, the body of the hat. Okay, now we're going to work on a little bit of decreasing to bring in the the sides of the hat just a little bit because this this is really really slouchy yes so with some decreasing utilizing uh decrease decrease stitches and single crocheting we're going to sort of cinch it in just a little bit not too terribly much but enough so that it will fit our noggins appropriately and it's only four more rounds so it's going to be pretty easy all right let's get to it Okay, round 13, I'm going to start in by chaining up one, okay, and we're going to, actually, we're going to start with a, a decrease. Now, this is going to be perhaps a little bit unconventional, but so going to start in by picking up a stitch right up into this first stitch here. So pull up a loop, like so, and then pull up a loop in the chain one space, and pull through all three. All right, and then into each of these double crochet stitches, just one single crochet into each. And then when we reach the chain space, double crochet, chain space, we're going to do our first official decrease. So into the chain space, pull up a loop, into the double crochet, pull up a loop, 
and then into the chain space, pull up a loop, and then pull through all four, like so. Then, again, single crochet into each of the seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then again, pull up a loop in the chain space, pull up a loop in the double crochet, pull up a loop in the chain space, and then pull through all four stitches. And then again, double cro sorry, single crochet into the double crochets, and just keep doing this all the way around until you reach the beginning, and I will meet back up with you. Okay, almost done with round 13. I just need to do my single crochets here in these seven double crochet stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, uh, in order to eliminate this stitch here, what I'm going to do is pull up a loop and then slip stitch into this first stitch that we created. Slip stitch into there and then pull through all of our loops. It's a little bit tight, but it works. And there you go. That's the end of round 13. Okay. Okay, round 14, we're going to decrease again. So chain up one and pull up a loop in that same stitch and into the next stitch and then pull through all three. And then we're going to continue on by single crocheting over these doubles. Well, were doubles, now singles, and we're going to decrease again when we reach the sort of the divot, if you will. You know, we've got an arch and we've got a divot. So let's scoot on over there. So we have ourselves one, two, three, four, and five, because we have to go into these three stitches down in here. There's that center decrease and then one on either side. So go into the stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next, pull up a loop, and then go into the next one, pull up a loop, and then pull through all four loops. Okay, and then proceed along with one, two, three, four, and five single crochets. And then again, another decrease. Pull up a loop, pull up a loop, and pull up a loop, pull through all four. Okay, and then another five singles. One, two, three, four, five, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull through all four, five singles, and keep doing this all the way around, and I will meet back up with you at the beginning. Okay, I just did a decrease. I'm almost done with round 14. I just need to go into a couple more stitches. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. And then we had our decrease over here and just want to correspond with what we were doing. So I'm going to insert, pull up a loop, and then go into 
where we did our decrease and pull through all three loops like so. And you should have approximately about 62 stitches at this point. Give or take, it, it's not crucial, trust me, okay? But as long as your hat fits you, uh, you're essentially good to go. Now, um, so that the, the decreasing can sort of set in a little bit, I would recommend doing a couple of rounds of just single crocheting. No increasing, no decreasing. I did two rounds from here. I did two more rounds with just single crocheting to give it a little bit more oomph. So you would chain up one single crochet into that same stitch and then just single crochet one stitch in each stitch no more decreasing. And it may seem at this point a little bit too loose for you, but like I said, when you do a couple of rounds, it sort of solidifies the, the brim into getting used to the idea that <laughs> you just decreased. And I know that sounds weird, but it it does actually, uh, it does actually work because right now it's like, yeah, I just decreased, but I'm still there. Well, after, you know, two, three, however many rounds for the, the brim, um, the stitches, they get used to the fact that it's like, no, no, I'm not here anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, just do a couple of rounds whatever works best for you as far as the, the width of your brim. I found that two worked out just fine. And that's what I did for my prototype. And then when you go all the way around, where did we leave off? Okay, right over here is where we had started. So it's this stitch right here, right? Well, you would work into, I believe it is this stitch here. You would skip that last one. And so you'd go into your stitch and then slip stitch into this stitch right here, and then chain up one, single crochet into the same stitch, and just, you know, do a bunch of rounds. As long as your stitch count remains the same, you are golden, okay? And there you have it the cloister shell hat, whether it is a slouchy hat or more of a skull cap. The only difference, like I said, is how many eyelets you do initially will have a big impact on the size and the overall shape of your hat. But I would love for you to try and you know think outside of the box a little bit and experiment and it's through experimentation that I came up with this, and I would love to see you guys do the same. So that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I always love playing around with patterns and seeing what I can create for you guys. And, you know, I love sharing what I do. So that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please do give a little thumbs up button down below. You know I appreciate your appreciation. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. And also, uh, do hit subscribe because I do try to post regularly as far as crocheting and knitting and, of course, audiobook narrations. And, of course, also my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. A lot of fun. And uh, all sorts of things in the description box down below. So you know what to do. Until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and stay safe. Yes, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Have a, excuse me, have a great day, everybody. Oh, it's late and I'm tongue-tied. You have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.